Now I guess we can move on to Mojave Outpost. Yeah, sorry about the late start. <clears throat> Slept through all his alarms and then went and got something to eat. But, better late than never, I guess. I think I'm going to go towards the Mojave outpost. Damn. You got a bug on your McGriddle? That's not good. <clears throat> How'd that even happen? I guess I gotta go out and around. There you go. Oh, go Hi. out and under. Gotcha. <clears throat> Yeah, that's gross. I, I hate bugs, dude. Can't stand them. Our uh, apartment complex is supposed to come around and spray for bugs, but they haven't been doing it. So, uh... We had, like, a flea issue, and then we got rid of the fleas, and now we got ants. It's like, bruh, can we catch a break? I'm talking about like a suit. There might be mines down here. I don't remember. Like as soon as we got rid of those uh, fleas, the ants showed up. Yeah, I would have thrown it away too. You need Wesker to shoot them? Yeah, probably. That's a lot of bullets. I think we killed them all actually, all the ants uh, the other day. Me and Brittany went and got some ant spray, and she sprayed the the uh, the uh, ant mound down real good. And it uh, doesn't seem to be any survivors, so it's good to know. Now I saw some enemies on the radar while I was in the base, but I I guess they're over there. So I'm gonna go find them. Who's over here? There's a friendly on the map. Is that an NCR guy? Whatever. If I find the police station, go in. Okay. You know, uh, remind me to drop that canteen, I guess, since we're doing um, hardcore, might as well. I'm just going to have to remember to drink water. Which I can really remember to do that, you know, in real life. <clears throat> Here's what it is. And there's like a plane buzzing my house right now. That's weird. Yeah, I've kind of cut back on the soda. You, you mostly drink uh, sparkling water right now. But Dr. Pepper sounds good. Well, sparkling water and G Fuel is what I usually drink. <clears throat> I thought I saw some enemies on the radar, but I guess I was mistaken. The only doctor for me. Yeah. <clears throat> that little toolbox. I don't know if I need any of that, so I'm just going to leave it. <clears throat> you 
You need to drink that T virus, I guess, or Ouroboros, or I forget what actually did it. There we go. Here are the enemies. Oh, that missed. At least I hit him. Damn. Oh, there's a lot of them over here. Okay. I forgot that they could carry money. Shout out to Edie for killing both of those guys, basically. Ooh, a roamer. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, he's burning. Fucking smoking. That right away didn't help you much, did it, buddy? I have gained karma. Yeah, he did kind of go from killing insects and zombies to uh, throwing missiles at people. I like Edie's uh, little theme. Look at those dropping like flies out here, boy. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was a car, I think. Oh, a motorcycle? Oh god, I let him sneak up on me. Yeah, these critical strikes are really... Really carrying the day right now. None of that hit him? I mean, for real? Where's my shotgun? Uh, that's not it. Yeah, I'm digging his, uh, I'm digging it's, I guess. <laughs> Little theme song. That's pretty funny. What when did I have my shotgun map to? Is it SMG, laser, plasma? There you go. The real real zombie hunting weapon. Damn, save some for me, Edie. Damn. Alright. I think that's all of them. Let's go check out this building over here. Check out this building over here. Oh, there's more. Some more ghouls or what? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, they got guns.
Where are you running, bitch? Where are you? Where are you running? I feel like I'm just digging myself into it. You are stuck. Where'd she go? Did she run for it? I think she ran for it. Hey, my guy. You made a mistake. <laughs> Where'd the leader go? Ooh, that level up. Oh, yeah, cowboy repeater. Hell yeah. It's my type of gun. Um. Put some points in the lockpick. Some points in the science. Uh, science or guns? I'm thinking. Bring them both up to close to 45, I guess. And she like she really ran for it, huh? Oh, she died. Oh. Oh. Hey, buddy. I killed your boss. Get out of here. Give me a nut, boy. Oh my god. I thought I had died, to be honest. I thought that was me. Where was he? Edie with the Overwatch. I think I was over here somewhere. Ah. Alright, I need to. Stop picking up all these guns. Ooh, I like cat eye. I really do, actually. Give me that. Just repair the shit out of that. No. Cowboy repeater takes 357. Shit. Damage 19, DPS 30, damage. 20 DPS 33, so I guess if I'm gonna use the 357. Just follow the smoking corpses, I guess. Fuck you very much too, my guy. <laughs> Don't do it. He's really carrying me right now. Dude, he's mantises, man. There's a book in here. Okay. Oh, no wonder she wasn't using her uh, gun. That would have killed everybody. Oh, there you go. Guns and bullets. And I'm assuming... That'll increase our gun skill. Oh, 
That was so unnecessary. But yeah, I got the book. <clears throat> yes, now I'm just gonna clear this whole place out. Bless you, Edie. Can't hit these uh praying mantises though. Oh my god. I ain't heard no mantis. <clears throat> Ooh. Six of clubs. Another cowboy repeater. I'll pick that up for a pair of the one I got. A fresh carrot. <laughs> I mean, you gotta take the hatchet, right? Oh, is that what I was waiting for, Clink? To get comprehension? I honestly don't remember. I know in 3, you said something about, like, you know, wait to use them so you can, uh, go over the cat, the, uh, ooh. Almost missed that. Well, it seemed like pretty useful to get, so I guess I might as well use these. Just the ones that don't give you plus 20. Guns increase by 4. Sneak increase by 4. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to use, but that's fine. No one saw that. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <clears throat> so I should have increased my gun skill a whole lot. A whole lot. I think from here on I can just bounce out of here. Dude, I had to take this. I just had to, right? Even though I'm not a melee weapon build. It's like, bruh, you gotta take the hatchet. I wanna try using this on the next enemies we come across. Which I'm sure that I think I remember there being rad scorpions out here. Bark scorpion. <clears throat> I don't know how tough this bad boy's gonna be. He looks kind of small. That didn't go very far at all. Very big boy. Oh, hit him. <laughs> Damn. Decimated. <clears throat> Alright, I don't like being in this, like, desert area. I think I'm looking over there. <laughs> Is that a big ass? That's an ant. That's a big ant. Okay. I thought it was a spider. I'm like, hold up. Hold up. This isn't Skyrim. I don't know if I can get down with that. Oh, what's up, Bojan? What's going on, man? You enjoying Orktober? It's one of those frost spiders. Dead. The center cannot hold.
No, Edie's ready for it, bro. She's just going in. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a big... Oh, no, why would I want to target her? You gotta milk its venom. That's gross. Yo, Edie's busting ass out here, dude. I know I keep saying it, it's just like, damn. Alright, take it back. <laughs> as soon as I feel a little bit threatened, it just doesn't apply anymore. What are you sniping over there? Did you kill it? Howdy, howdy, howdy ho. Ooh, gumdrops. One second. The old throat's a little bit clogged up today. Didn't want to. Mayor Stein's journal. can hardly believe my luck. Literally, I'm a gate. Just now I was approached by a rather intense young man calling himself Mr. Fox. Yeah, right. When we were alone in my office, he let it be known that he was a member of Caesar's Legion. He knew that NCR troops and powder gangers often spend time in Nipton. It turns out that the Legion hates and wishes to make an example of both groups, the NCR for obvious reasons, and the powder gangers for harassing Legion raiding parties on this side of the river. I didn't have to think a moment about Mr. Fox's proposition before accepting it. All I have to do is convince the, powder, the Powders to kidnap the NCR troops at night. When both groups are in town, the Legion boys will scoop everyone up. Heh! <laughs> for a simple task, I have been offered 8,000 caps! I could almost go back to the NCR right away. But who knows how... Oh, no, no, no. But who knows how much else I might make off this Legion lackey. I'm going to start stockpiling some supplies in a safe house between here and the Mojave Outpost, just in case I decide to head back home in a hurry. Very exciting. Signed with a steady hand on the keyboard. Super, Super Mayor Joseph B. Stein, 3rd Esquire. That'll be relevant, Nipton. Gotcha. Open that middle box. Mm hmm hmm on your blood. Ba 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 get on out of here. Take yeast. Thought we were supposed to be heading east. I'll show myself out, don't worry about it. Like I'm just like, I'll let Edie handle it. She's got it under control. See? Oh, that's not where I... What, huh, mm. Excuse me. Yeah. You know, these roads are not safe. Oh, hello. This is the second one of these guys we've seen, right? We saw that you get that infection. Yeah, if you get the yeast. We saw one of these guys in that cave, and now... Ooh, that man's got a plasma rifle. Don't mind if I do. I know I don't have energy weapon skill uh, leveled up, but, you know, at the worst, we could just sell it. That would just be my... <laughs> FBI, open up! I 
don't know what this is for. Make a flame fuel. I know I'm overburdened. I don't really need it. I don't trust myself with that shit. Hello. Ah. There. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally... Other than Oops. bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure, that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to kill him. But we'll see. I assume he doesn't just, like, disappear. In case I need to come and kill him. For some reason. Alright. Jump. 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 Oh, yeah. Nuts. But yeah, dude, this guy scared the shit out of me. Just a little bit. Just a little dookie drop. <sighs> watch out! Yeah, man, watch out. You're right there, bud. Ah! <laughs> I was about to give it the old. You know, to a blue skidoo, we can too, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Hey, what happened? Am I. Did I load it onto the cowboy repeater? Is that what happened? Yeah, 
to, uh... There you go. I was like, why do I only have one bullet left? Go come up with that laser pistol. Yeah, man. See, the thing is, I thought I was OP with these, uh, the starting armor and whatever. But, uh, in all honesty, she's really doing all the work. Or it's really doing all the work. Whatever. He, she, it, them, they. It's a robot. Why are you hiding in here, but no, not Bethesda. Heck it. In the year 2271, the Desert Rangers of Nevada and the Rangers of the New California Republic met at this spot to sign the Ranger Unification Treaty. Under this treaty, the Desert Rangers agreed to be absorbed into the NCR in exchange for NCR's protection of Hoover Dam, New Vegas, and Southern Nevada against the forces of Caesar's Legion. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Burgers are good. You're not wrong. Hey. Sergeant Kilborn. Hopping along the grim tree on a happy holiday. Give these people a little while to, uh. Wake up! Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Well, mostly just in. Not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Prim. Hayes units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? I'd like to help. But we can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. Me? I'm Knight. Major Knight. I've been stuck here dealing with these caravans for ages now, but somebody's got to do it. That ain't so bad. If Caesar's Legion decides to push west through Nipton, old Mojave outpost here will be the front line. Help? Oh, well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. NCR border guard duty mostly. It's our job to make sure the caravans can move safely along I-15 and Highway 95. Not the best posting or assignment, but it beats being sent east or patrolling the Colorado. Legion's pretty thick there. Sir. Hello. God dang right, boy. Show me some respect. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry. Only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell. And if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Dude, this guy looks like the, uh... The lead singer for Sabaton. If you ever seen him, just minus the vest. Hell, 
No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. Any luck up by the track? Well, if you can't... Back again? All right, then. I need to find a shop. I assume there's one around here somewhere. Probably not in here. Oh. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear Hey. I wasn't stealing anything. Alright. You know, y'all just need to chill out. Oh, that's a Brahmin. I was like, what the hell is that? Right? I was just thinking that. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. All right. Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? Mind yourself on the plank going down. I forgot I could just give ED stuff. Hold on to that. What does that mean? Take that. Since I got the cowboy repeater. You know what? Where is it at? Now I'm going to have to survive on my own. Alright, so where are we going? I'm going to fast travel back here real quick. Let them know what's up. Oh, this is... Uh, Oh, that's close enough. These guys know what's up. They can move into Prim and then go clear out that road, I guess. This isn't a very effective fortification. What can I say except you're welcome? Roger. Yeah. Yeah, I just got word of that. There's a squad of rangers standing by. 
Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff and the Rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. Roger. I'll radio them over now. Ooh. That's a lot of XP right there. Alright, let's... What, did I need like 50 lockpick earlier? Oh, boy. Ooh, now I get this. Your precision with the scatter gun is something to behold when using shotguns. Regardless of ammunition use, you ignore an additional 10 points of the target's damage threshold. Ooh. I think the one. Oh, I can't get it yet. Might just get bloody mess. That five percent is pretty nice. Was shotgun surgeon is bugged? Is that what you're saying, shotgun surgeon? Oh, shining armor. That sucks. I'm gonna get bloody mess for that five percent damage increase. I don't plan on using only shotguns, but I might grab that shotgun perk at some point. At some point, I might grab that shit, but not now. Alright, let's look at the world map. Where does this take us? Up the road, over here. Okay, I need to go that way anyway, so that everything works out. That kind of sucks, man. That that uh, that that's bugged. <clears throat> it's a bit silly. How long has this game been out? And there's still bugs like that. It's a little bit ridiculous, Dion, don't you think? Yeah, I'll go wipe these buggos out and then go. Head up to Nipton. Nice. Ooh, I forgot to eat. Squirrel stew. And give me some of that nut. I thought I saw the nut. I'll take some of the pods. That's fine. Can't you tell me I'm missing? Oh, I'm hitting the big guy. <coughs> yeah, game's been out since 2011. And there's still bugs like that. Oh, that's a big bug. Oh, never mind. Say, I think that's all of them. <clears> they <throat> might throw a little bit clogged up today. It's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. That's a big boy right there. I mean, I know there's a mod, but it's like. Yeah, I guess. That's a lot of enemies in that. Well, there you go. Oh, he's dead. Oh, it's more ants. Of course, it fucking is more ants.
tell you what I think about that. I don't know what I think about that. That crowd control. No ants allowed. Was it Obsidian that made this game though? Or did Bethesda put out the, uh, the patches? <clears throat> There's a lot of big ant boys out here. I was doing wrong here with uh, something, obviously. Bro. Jackal guys aren't racing. Right. Let's walk up behind him and execute him. I'm take his bullets, take his caps, and we're moving on. She didn't even help him. Oh, it's worse on PS3, Bojan. Damn, he didn't even notice. He didn't even notice, dude. What the hell? She just exploded and he's like do -do 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 -do. Like I'd like to think if I was standing next to someone and they got vaporized I would notice. Hey, you never know. Hey, yeah, Fallout 3 is super buggy still. Dude, my game won't even launch. That tells you how buggy that game is. At least New Vegas works for me. Like, I was supposed to be streaming Fallout 3, but, uh... Then it wouldn't uh, wouldn't launch. So here I am playing a uh, possibly a better game, from what I hear. But also, I really like Fallout Three, so you know it is what it is. Damn. Dude, there's an infestation out here. Chill out. Chill out. I'm gonna 
this in there. That almost killed me and I didn't even notice. I'm just gonna chill for a second. Like, the only reason I saw that uh, my health was so low is I heard my heart beating. I was like, huh? What's, what's the super stim pack debuff, you know? Oh, so it's just like a, it's a big HP boost and then you take a little bit of damage. Okay. I see. That see you? Yeah, I'm still thinking about that guy who, uh. Whose friend got headshot and he just stood there like an idiot. Hold on, let me uh, let me map this to something. And it's coming from up the road. Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. No, none at all. We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago. And she's been friendly this whole time. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Now that I think of it though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my lucky charm necklace. Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. And once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. And even if what you're saying is true, I think I'll take my chance. If that... Yeah, check this out, check this out. I think in here I've got... Come back here. This, this, sta this stage just can't get any oh. worse. Well, now he's not gonna hold him over, hand him over. So I'm gonna have to take him. Over here. Should let me ask for him, buddy. Yeah, we get seven of them. Things finally seem to be turning around. I made a nice bundle of caps turning in some scrap in the last time I passed, and now I have a new traveling companion. Her name is Jacqueline, and she's pretty cute. I'm not going to get ahead of myself here, but things are looking up. And to think I was actually beginning to doubt the power of my lucky necklace. Well, rest in peace, my guy. Yeah, I'm trying to find a corpse. Just let me ask for him instead of making me waste my skill book. 
so he had to go. What up, what up? Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Never felt better! Yeah! What lottery? The lottery! That's what lottery! Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters! Oh, oh my god! Smell that air! <laughs> Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner! I won the motherfucking lottery! <laughs> Bye. I should be going. I should be going. I remember there's a bunch of fucking attack dogs in here. Yeah. Caesar's Legion guys and attack dogs. What's up, buddies? Just go ahead and, uh, Quick save, real quick. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Where to begin? That they are weak, and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution? Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it too. Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. Yes, they did, as will all the rest of them in due time. Now go and teach them what you've learned here. There will be more lessons in the days ahead. We need to click on the runner option. This might have been a bad idea. I don't even own one, bro. Is that a... Oh, it's Ian. Wait, 
Hold up. Is that Vermillion? Cap can? Don't say your slave name. What's up, y'all? Yo, I heard, uh, I heard traps are gay, so... But that's just what I heard. Oh, he died in that, somehow. Ooh. Yeah, what's up, y'all? <laughs> what the fuck? Good, good job, Edie. I can't believe I picked the wrong uh, option there. It's kind of rough. I'm just doing guns, basically, right now. Nothing special. I see people on the map, on the radar, where are they at? I mean, you can take a look at my, uh, my skills right here. Am I wounded? Yes. I got a good amount of luck and decent amount of perception and agility and intelligence, so... Roger. Uh, let's see. Let's look at my body. Yeah, that's not looking good. I almost died to a giant rat scorpion earlier for you, so that was something. Yeah, I'll go back for it just like I saw these uh, enemies on the um, radar. right now um, purified water H2O food I need some food yeah I'm trying to Usually around 12 or so. Today got pushed back a little bit because uh, I've been a little bit of a rough week at work. Not getting a whole lot of sleep. Oh no! But yeah, I came home, set some alarms, took a nap. Meant to get up at 11. Ended up getting up at 12 uh, around the time I originally wanted to start. I could just, hold up, I can just repair some of this stuff. I 
I don't need that 10 millimeter. That should be coochie. But yeah, I want to start streaming during the week, but that's kind of iffy because uh, it just it all depends on how work goes. <laughs> I mean, more lottery tickets. You, I think that's what that was, right? Yeah. We pretty much took care of all the ants, but we'll see. We will see. Even though, you know, people are supposed to come around and do that shit themselves. Someone shit the bed. Alright, let's get back to that town hall. Hey, man. Uh, yeah? A bunch of idiots over there, dude. I mean, you probably saw me and me and Jonesy talking about that last night in, uh, in chat. That's why renting is supposed to be nice. Oh. I hit that fucking trifecta of bullshit right there. Oh, are you? Dude, I thought you were, uh, Vermillion. I don't have any doctor's bags. Oh, no. Dude, that mine and that shotgun. That's not good. I don't have any doctor's bags. I know you aren't talking about anybody being a... Uh, creative. I need a doctor's bag, like... Ooh. I'm... Uh, oh, no! That's why I get for looking at chat. In the trap house. You know, I'm about to sleep in this fucking bed. Is that true? Oh! He got out! Oh, he got out! Alright. Let's take a little nap! That doesn't sound good. Easy gonna make an appearance. All right, I need to find some doctor's bags for real. Get these uh, legs looked at. I'm looking at like Professor X over here. That shit was locked and it was empty. Okay. I mean, I'll take some of this. I'm encumbered. Where you at, Edie? Oh, no. I don't really use the grenades that much. But I kind of like having them on hand for those uh, situations where I need crowd control. I'm farting it. <laughs> Bruh, I saw it at the very last second. Oh my, get me out of here. <laughs> Dude, I saw that mine literally at the last possible second. And it threw my ass into the wall. 
I thought it killed me. Honestly. Maybe one of these losers has a doctor's bag. <laughs> hey, I goofed a little bit. Fear, did you ever watch any of my uh, Fallout 3 videos? I did it again. I did it again. Bro, I'm about to just fucking kill myself. Stream Marvel 3. Now I know you gotta be Jonesy. Yeah, uh, I can't see landmines. Like, at all. Like, at all. As is demonstrated here. Like, I saw that key and I just went for it, and then... Oh, is that the one that makes it so you don't set off landmines? I might need that. <laughs> that was a bit, uh, overstayed. But yeah, basically, if there's a mine somewhere, I'm gonna hit it. Yo, that might be me. Let's see. I need lockpick. And then from there, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm getting nervous. Stop using my weather pistol ammo. You get a sight for this gun. E. <laughs> I'm like a combo of Magneto and Professor X, huh? See, I like Clink's version better. Fear, you know? Where are the doctor's bags at? That's what I'm trying to figure out, because I'm not looking good right now. Where are the bags at? Man, you had to say something about that big noggin, man. But hey, I be thinking too hard, and um, it makes me miss the mines. Brain too big, fam. Oh. Uh, see, now I'm afraid to walk into rooms. That's a little bit rough. I figure I hate to tell you, but you're my plank. Oh man, this slow walk ain't doing it, bro. Damn, the dude got roasted. They told him to sit down, he said, nah fam, I'm good.
Bro, if Marvel 4 actually does come out, that'll be amazing. But, uh... As of right now, I'm, uh... Skeptical at best. Eh. Like, they're basically just sitting on a, like, a gold mine, essentially. Like, people want Marvel 3. Well, not Marvel 3, but just Marvel vs. Capcom. And they don't want to give it to them for some damn reason. Oh, there's a lot of doggos up here. Oh, I missed the doggo. He looks kind of like the fantastic Mr. Fox. Oof. Don't even, don't even fucking try me. Oh, he's gonna try me. <laughs> Iron sights didn't suck ass for this gun. I think it'd be a lot better. Alright, I get it. Oh. Waste of my ammo. Hello? Game? Thank you. Right, look at this. It blocks so much of your screen. Like your peripheral peripheral vision. Yeah, for some reason they wanted to take it back to uh more like Marvel One. And I think the only person who was asking for that was uh Maximilian. And it's like, who cares what he thinks? I mean, I, I love Max, but it's like... The guy's got the MVC1 bias. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Slap my ass with a landmine. Alright, where are you at, landmine? Why don't you have a doctor's bag, you bitch ass bitch boy? I need I need a doctor to bring me back to life. Yeah, he's just lucky he doesn't have to he she it they them whatever. Doesn't have to worry about uh, landmines. I keep like running. I guess that's my bum ass leg stopping me from walking every once in a while. Yo, what up, fam? Ooh. Sunset Sarge Brewer. Sarge Alright, one. One secundo. Okay. Okay, so 